Hello, this is Dale, and this is my market insight for Monday, February 8th. Well, the market really, uh, really dropped today. You can see it gap down here. Um, but one thing I find very interesting is that uh, this was the previous low. It, it, uh, it's getting a lot of support right here. It's getting some support from the previous low and the minus two. Is, is it going to come down here and bounce up a little bit and still gyrate down in this region? Um, I don't know. That's why I'm remaining neutral right now to see what the heck the market is going to do here because it did drop down past the 261 on the short term, past the minus two. It's an outlier, and towards the end of the, end of the trading day, it came roaring back. But this was a very weak day again on the market. So a lot of people are saying, well, should we get prepared for the bear? Is, uh, is the bearish, uh, is it bearish trend, uh, coming? Well, I'm not quite ready to, to say that yet. What we're looking at here is a, uh, is a, uh, uh, 10 years of, uh, daily data. And you can see before that this was, that this was a low back in October of 2014. That held right here in August of this year. It didn't go to a lower low here. It held right here in uh, in January, and it appears to be holding right here now. Now, it is it is a fact that we're down below the 200 to 150 day moving average, and that's not good. If it does drop below here, we could be in for the first stage of the bear. However, what has me puzzled is that usually when that occurs, interest rates are high enough that the big boys can go into treasuries, which are guaranteed, and it's a way of getting out of the volatility. It's a way of parking your money over and earning a little bit of money. There's no place for them to park it right now. The Fed fund rate is at an all-time low still, so I'm puzzled. Uh, I'm just going to hold a neutral position right now and, and, and let the market tell me what it's going to do. I definitely don't want to be either short or long at this point with this volatility. And that's my market insight for tonight. Come on back tomorrow night. Bye-bye now.